Hey guys, what up? Mike here, Red Laker Talk. So, yesterday's game against OKC reminded me of a very sad fact, and that is that we, the Lakers, are going to suck for a very long time. Um, and the reason why I say this is because I don't think we have a shot at getting Kevin Durant. Um, I thought there was like a slight chance, but if yesterday's game is any indication of our play or level of play, there is no way he's coming. I, I, made, a, I made a tweet about this. Unless he bumps his head and gets like a little case of amnesia for a day or two and forgets everything about our team and who was on our team and how we actually played, there is no chance that he would come to L.A. I'm watching yesterday's game against OKC and they were literally sleepwalking against the Lakers. The only two players came to play, Jordan Clarkson and Lou Williams. And Lou Williams, one being not really being our future player, but the young guns. Clarkson came the ball a little bit. He was hustling. Um, showed some showed some good moments against uh, Russell Westbrook, which was impressive. Like went at him a few times, which I, I liked, um, and really stuck with him on D a little bit. But Julius Randle, and. Eh. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, our future point guard, mm, he like slept walk through that game. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him break a sweat. There were several times, moments in that game where uh, uh, Deion Waiters drove just like blew past him. I mean, there were games in this year, a few games back, where I saw D'Angelo Russell get after it defensively, but yesterday he wasn't even breaking a sweat. And he gave up, he made a lot of bonehead plays in terms of a lot of defensive lapses and stuff like that. And he didn't show, he had a few putbacks here and there, but there was nothing that impressed me or would have impressed Kevin Durant to go like, hey, I'm going to come back and I'm going to connect you. I'm going to be playing with those guys. Julius Randle, uh, uh, D'Angelo Russell. It was like, we played, we played a, our game was crappy. And Byron Scott came out yesterday and said the guys were scared. I don't think they were scared. I just think they came out soft. And maybe that's Byron Scott's fault. Um, another thing is what I want to talk about is I hate the fact. The one thing I hate most about NBA players, I don't care who you are. I hate cons inconsistency. Okay, one thing that Lou Williams give us, a lot of people, I see a lot of people cracking on Lou Williams. We need to trade Lou Williams. He's the only guy that's putting up, putting up, putting up shots. Him. And Jordan Clarkson. Julius Randle will come one day and have 18 and 10. The next day he has two and four, something like that. You know, one game, uh, D'Angelo Russell looks like, oh, he's about to break out. The next day he's asleep. He's like asleep at the wheel. Like yesterday's game, though he had a couple of rebounds here and there, he had some assists, he had, you know, he got over 10 points, but I don't know. There, maybe there are garbage points. They didn't have an impact on the game. They weren't against, uh, you know, Russell Westbrook or, or, or Kevin Durant where it, it, it seemed impressive or whatever. Maybe I'm being too hard on them. But believe me, I looked at that game yesterday and I thought there is no chance that Kevin Durant looks at that team and say, I see, some, I see something good from that team. No, he's not coming to L.A. Unless, like I said, unless he bumps his head and forgets about the game and uh, or we play well the next four games we play or three games we play against them. But to be honest with you, I wasn't impressed. We got blown out by 40. Man, Russell Westbrook didn't even play that much. He was yawning on the bench. Uh, Kevin Durant's cracking jokes. He kind of slept, walked through the game. Man, we looked like a D-League high school team against OKC. And to think that Kevin Durant will give up his chances of winning a championship and come to L.A., um, I know he's not going to come. So those are my thoughts. My thoughts is that I, I like the fact I want us to lose. I actually want us to lose, but I don't want us to get blown out by 40 points every game. Okay, I want us to lose and actually put up a fight and lose by six or seven points. And I want the other team to go, you know what? Those guys got a future. Those guys have a chance to be something special. Yesterday, we were far away from that. So those are my thoughts. Hit me up. Let me know your thoughts. We play Denver on Tuesday. Uh, let's see if we have a better outing. 
Um, but those are my thoughts. Am I too harsh on our team? Uh, is it Byron Scott's fault? I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me on Twitter at Mike Sports LA. We'll talk soon. Peace.